In this video, we'll be exploring your Riley link, what it is, how to use it, and answering some frequently asked questions. There are websites and links mentioned in this video, and I've included those in the video's description section, so make sure to check that out if you want more info. Riley link is a small but critical part of your looping gear. It's about the size of a Tic Tac box, and it easily fits into your jeans pocket. Riley Link is the original creation by Pete Schwamm. He designed the board while exploring ways of remotely reviewing data from his daughter Riley's pump. The device was soon being used by others who were working on other do-it-yourself diabetes projects. When Pete and Loop developer Nate Ratcliffe got together, Riley Link was given an even more exciting purpose of becoming the communications bridge for Loop App. So what exactly does Riley Link do? Well, Riley Link is mentioned, it's a communications bridge. So your pump and pod use their own radio communications, but your iPhone and Loop use Bluetooth communications. So Riley Link knows how to speak both the pump's radio and Bluetooth. This means Riley Link is like a UN translator for your devices, allowing them to speak to each other. A quick side note, if you're a designer or developer type of person, you can find out more about the PCB design, parts list, and firmware at Pete's Riley Link GitHub repository. There have been a few ambitious people who have built their own Riley Links from scratch, but for most of us, we'll use the kits from getreillylink.org. There are two types of kits available, one specific for Medtronic users and one for Omnipod users. Each comes unassembled, so you'll have to do some basic assembly like plugging in a battery, putting the Riley link in the case, and putting in a case assembly screw. One quick note about the assembly though. The most important part is to push that battery plug in as far as it will go. The battery plug is quite a tight fit and many people stop short of pushing the plug in as far as it needs to go. So compare your Riley link with the one shown in this photo. If you don't have yours pushed in as far as the good photo shows, then keep going. Loose battery plugs will result in more frequent loops being dropped and pump communication problems. So you don't want to do that. So what makes the kits different? What about the Riley Links is different? Well, it's all about the antenna. The antenna on the Riley Links is specifically designed for the radio frequency of the pump or the pod. So use the one that matches the pump or pod that you want to use. The Omnipod Riley Link has a copper coiled antenna like the red Riley Link shown here. Medtronic Riley Link has a black cylinder for an antenna like shown on these two Riley Links. Can you mix and match? Can you use a Medtronic Riley Link with an Omnipod pump or vice versa? Yes, technically you can, but the antenna won't be optimized for the radio communications, which means you would have to keep the Riley Link and the pump or the pod very, very close to each other. So close that it'd be noticeably inconvenient. In a pinch you could get by, but you really wouldn't want to do it long term. What doesn't make a difference? The color of the Riley Link board. The color itself means nothing for the function of the Riley Link. It just means that the board was produced while they were using that color of board. Pretty simple. So let's take a deeper dive into the Riley Link and some of the parts on it and what we need to know about it. We've already identified the radio antenna on the Riley Link. The antenna is what helps the Riley Link talk to your pump when it's across the room. We've also touched on the battery plug and how important that is. An interesting note is that your Riley Link can't operate without that battery plugged in. So even if you have it plugged into a wall charger, your Riley Link won't work unless that battery is plugged in. There's also a charging port on your board that uses a mini USB-C cord. Just plug that charging port into a wall charger and your Riley Link should be fully charged in about two hours time. The power switch on your Riley Link is on the side of the board. When the switch is up towards the USB charging port, the power is on, like in this photo. The power switch will be hard to see once it's in the case though, since it's recessed to prevent it from accidentally getting broken off. And toggling the Riley Link's power switch is actually a pretty common troubleshooting step if you have a red loop or your loop stops working. So you might want to carry around a small pokey object, such as a paper clip uh, so that you can reach into that recess switch. There are several LED lights on your Riley Link, 
but three are of particular importance because they help us know what's going on with your Riley link. The three we pay attention to are a red, green, and blue light. The red light will come on when the battery is being charged. The light will turn off when the charging is done, about two hours. The red light will then periodically turn off and on while it's still on the charger, even after a complete charge. Why is that? Well, the battery is getting topped off. So it's perfectly normal to see the light coming on and off even after it's pretty much fully charged. The green light indicates a Bluetooth connection between the Riley Link and the iPhone. The green light should always be on while looping. If the green light isn't on, then check that the Riley Link is properly charged and that the iPhone's Bluetooth is still turned on in your iPhone settings. The blue light will flash off and on while the Riley Link is actively communicating with the pump or the pod. The blue light should not always be on. If the blue light is stuck on, then there's a problem with the Riley Link. Try switching its power switch off and on and then cleaning out any debris that may have gotten stuck to the board. Now that we've covered the basics of the board, let's answer some remaining frequently asked questions about the use of a Riley Link. How can I tell how much battery is left on the Riley Link? Well, the answer is simple. You can't. It's simply not tracked. So the good practice is to just charge it nightly. A fully charged Riley Link battery should go about a day and a half to two days on a single charge. So nightly charging is more than adequate. Do I need to carry the Riley Link with me everywhere? Well, the answer is simply yes. Loop won't work without your Riley Link. So carry the Riley Link wherever you'd like to be looping. In fact, I'd recommend getting a backup Riley Link if possible. Riley Links can't swim, they can't Uber their way home, and they can't ask for directions back to your pocket if they happen to jump out. But adding a tile or a medical device sticker to your Riley Link can increase the odds that you'll get that lost Riley Link back. How far away can the Riley Link be? Well, that totally depends on your environment, but generally speaking, about 10 to 12 feet is a good rule of thumb. I like to think of it as keep the Riley Link in the same room and you'll be good to go. What happens if I lost or forgot my Riley Link? Well, if you're a pod looper, you won't be able to bolus or suspend your pump while you're missing a Riley Link. If you're a Medtronic looper, you can use your pump itself, the pump menus and buttons, just like you did before you started looping. So will I get my basils when I'm not looping or I'm missing my Riley Link? The answer is yes. The last temp basil that loop set will finish its run up to a maximum of 30 minutes, and then your scheduled basils from loop settings will resume. Will I have to change pods when I change Riley links? No, the cool answer is that this is really simple. You simply go into your loop settings, under your pump or pod, find your device list for Riley links, and turn the switch so that it's green. That's all you need to do. Can I use more than one Riley Link at a time? Yes, technically you can, but Loop only uses one at a time. So only after a Riley Link fails for 15 minutes will Loop look to use a different Riley Link. Have fun with your Riley Link. I hope this video helped you out and got you a better understanding of the new little tool in your life. Have a good one.